Yo, what up, man? It's your boy MBM, and I am him, man. I got a good one for y'all today, man. Um, a lot of requests been coming in, man, for, you know, people wanting me to show them how to gain stage inside a, uh, FL Studio. But not only am I going to show you how to gain stage, I'm going to show you that uh, we're going to balance the track as well. So once we gain stage it, I mean, pretty much we just balancing it, man. And for those of you who don't know what gain staging is, pretty much what we're doing are we're taking steps to get our tracks to balance out a lot better so we won't uh, get any digital distortions. So that way we have enough uh, headroom to process plugins on side of the instrument. So like I said, we won't get no digital distortion and we can get a good overall mix when we get ready to mix our beat down. So let's dive, let's get into it, man. Short, simple tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So um, first thing I'll play the track and um, this beat is produced by my son, Lousy. My son, Lousy, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description. Yo, if you rock with me, do me a favor. Head over to his channel. Subscribe to his channel, man. Tell him what's up, man. And, um, man, come on, man. Mess with him. He also got a page where you can purchase his beats as well. You can lease them. Man, the kid got some dope beats, and it's crazy because he just started making tracks. Man, I gave him, what, about four months? Let me see, four or five months? And, you know, and he's, man, he's still learning things, but, man, just... Man, I, I when I started, it took me some time to learn this stuff, man. And he just he just picks it up, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so shout out to my son for coming up with some dope beats. And this beat right here is something he threw at me. So I'm going to uh, show you how to gang stage it so you guys can get a proper mix when you're getting ready to get down. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to mix the beat. And then I am going to show you how to record clean vocals in it as well. So I don't want to make these tutorials long. That's why I'm chopping them up. So I'll play the beat. It's gonna probably be pretty loud, so you guys can turn your speakers down or whatever. And the track is not finished. He got a little something else he's about to do to it. But I just wanted to take this right here, man, because I like this sound right here and just show y'all what I'm going to do with it. So um, first thing we're going to do is let's mute um, the piano crash perks and uh, open hat, hi hat, snare, and clap. So we're just going to go off the 808 itself, and we're going to look at the meter over here. So we tend to want the 808. Like I said, I like to hit it around uh, 12 dB. So over here on the meter, on the master channel, I want to make sure it's at 10 dB, I mean 12 dB. So that way I'm giving myself some headroom to play around with this instruments to do some processing. So we won't get no digital distortion, okay? So let's play it. Let me actually take this up a little bit. And this new update on Fru uh, FL Studios is pretty dope, dude. Like, man, thanks. oh my God. Okay, so you can see that's hitting quite loud right there. So I don't, you definitely don't want to take this and bring this down because you are not going to have any headroom. You're going to start adding distortion. Bringing it, just bringing the actual meter knob down is not going to do anything by, in volume wise. But this, but once you start adding plugins to it and you get to turning it up, you're going to start hearing the distortion in it, whether it's down or up. So you definitely don't want to do that. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit alt, bring that back. Now, what I what I tend to do is when I'm doing this, let's just say, for instance, I'll pull this up. Okay, so, I mean, you can use this knob as well, or you can just click on it. You know, I like to click on it. I like to look at the fanciness, you know what I'm saying? And um, we're going to look at our meter now, and then we're going to start using a volume button here just to bring it down. So that's pretty much where we wanted that right there. So we got the kick. That's how we want the kick to be. We want, the, I mean, the 808, we want that to hit around negative 12. And then also I'm going to look at the other instruments. So basically, all of your instruments is not going to need gain staging. Some of them may not need it. Uh, so what you do is, as you can see, let's go to the clap now. Now, 
So the clap is fine because I do have headroom in the clap to add plugins to it to make it sound good. Now with the clap, we're not going to add serious plugins to it because majority of the time some of these claps will be mixed already. So you just probably want to add a simple EQ to it. Now we're going to move on to the snare. So we're just looking for the instruments that need to be gain stage so we can actually start balancing our track. And as you can see, the snare is hitting around negative 12, which is fine. That's perfectly fine. Like I said, we're looking for the instruments that we need to bring down to actually <clears throat> do some gain staging too, so we don't have no digital, uh, digital distortion in those instruments. Now the hi-hat, I'm just gonna bring down just a little bit. Now, matter of fact, I'm not gonna even bring the hi-hat down. That's fine, we, we, got, we got extra, we got space in there to add plugins. Like I said, with these, sometimes they're just already mixed and, they, and all you need to do is just add some EQ to it, uh, rolling off around uh, 100, rolling off 100 hertz, so that way you give the 808 and kick uh, space to breathe. So we're gonna go to our open hi-hat now. And that is fine. So these instruments is fine. So let's go to our perk now. Now I'm definitely going to bring that down because that is too, too loud, man. Too loud. I don't know why I got audio clips up here. It should have been. That's wild. Let's see. Um, my perk is. Let's go over here. Okay, here we go. So let's bring that down. Let's move this out the way. Let's bring it down a little bit more. That's perfectly fine. That's what we want that. So let's go to our crash now. That's a little hot, so we're going to bring the crash down as well. <clears throat> so let's click on the crash. Where we at? Okay, so we're going to click on here. So we're just clicking on the instrument itself. Like I said, you can do the volume from here, but I like to bring this up so I can actually uh, look, at, look at the mixer too. You can do it from here if you want to, but I just like clicking on it and uh, going up here to the volume and just doing it from here. So let's see it now. That's fine. So like I said, we want to give ourselves some headroom. Now, what I like to do is from here, I like to balance out my uh, instruments now. So what I'll do is I'll bring this down, 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 bring this down. And then what I want to do is I just want to make sure the track is beating around negative 12 because I'm going to start recording my vocals to it. So that way I got some processing room to add plugins to my vocal, my hook my beat, you know what I'm saying? So I'm giving myself enough headroom to play around. So let's cut everything back on. As far as the piano, as I can, I can look from right here and tell the piano is is pretty good. But let me just mute these just to make sure. That's fine. So let's bring everything back. So what we're doing right now, we're just balancing our beat, getting it to where when we get ready to record our vocals, the beat is not super loud. 
it's balanced well enough for us to put our vocals on, to sit it in the mix properly well. I mean, sit it in the mix really well. And then from there, we'll start doing our mixing. So let's cut the crash back on. Let's do this, bring this down and dial it in. Now, normally what I do with my instruments, I'll go to master. Um, I will add, um, I'll just do it. So you guys will know what I'm talking about. Did I put it in here? Um, do, 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 let's see. I don't think I put it in here. I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay. Right there. Let me add it real quick. I don't think I put ozone in here. I got some presets coming up too with uh, FL2, man. It's going to be crazy. So I did add it. Yeah. So I'm putting this on the uh, master channel. <clears throat> did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, so what I like to do is I'm going to get rid of equalizer. Let's turn that down. Let's put on true peak. So I'm going to turn this to mono. And the minute I hear the instrument as I'm bringing it up, I'm going to stop right there. As soon as I hear the instrument, I just pretty much want to get a good balanced instrument, so um, a good balanced piano. So I'm going to bring it in by using the uh, stereo mono button. So the minute you start mixing, you'll see your uh, you see your vector scope. It'll be shooting up the middle. This won't be coming down as well. So, like I said, you want to make sure this this is hitting above the zero. You don't want this to go down, and you don't want to start looking at this until you start mixing. So, once you start mixing, then you want to uh, go look at the imager and just make sure that this is not dropping below zero. If it's dropping below zero, and you start seeing. Uh, instruments tagging up over here to the left and right up in this area you got a phase issue and man i've been teaching y'all a lot a lot in video so i'm gonna play it again and as you'll see it's just you'll see it slightly coming down because i haven't started mixing <laughs> Because if it is, then you got a phase issue, and then you got to go back to your mix and fix that. So this is pretty much what I do to balance out the instruments, man. And that's what I do to gain stage inside of FL Studio. Super dope. Sometimes I have clients that's like, yo, can you mix my uh, stuff in FL? Cool, man. You know what I mean? Send them back to session. Bam. And um, yeah, man, like I said, uh, this beat was produced by my son, Lousy. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Also, man, you'll see it probably here up on the screen. His YouTube channel. Do me a favor. Go subscribe to his channel. Like I said, he got some super dope beats, man. Shout out to Lousy for, man, like pushing through because, you know, man, like a lot of people I dealt with, you know, that we was a part of a camp that used to try to charge me. So I'm like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to start making beats. My son making them. So, you know, you just bring it in your inner circle where you don't need nobody, man. And you just keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Because how are we going to make it if we charging each other and we in the same goddamn camp? So, um. Yeah, man, it's your boy Mixed by Malachi. Hope you guys learned something. Thank y'all for tuning in and watching. Much love to y'all, man. Hey, to you FL users, I told y'all I had y'all. So now you can get your game going. And this is a uh, template that I do have up available for you guys on um, Etsy. And it's a dope template. Man, super dope. So check it out, man. It's your boy Mixed by Malachi, and I'm out.